Morning all, welcome to episode five of our lockdown coaching sessions. Um, today we're going to be covering wheelies, so hopefully by the end of the session you can be really good. <laughs> Moving on, um, so as we showed in our manual session, how to get the front wheel up, how to find that balance point. With a wheelie it's pretty much the same. What we need to do now is get the front up and coordinate our pedaling so we can be pedaling on the balance point using the brake to feather the brake, hold the height of the front wheel and uh, control our rhythm so we don't start getting out of control, going too fast. One of the real common mistakes is everyone tries to pedal real fast to hold that front wheel up. What we really need to do is control the pedaling so that the wheel stays at one constant height and we feather the brake to maintain it. What we're going to do now, give you a quick demo and uh, then we'll break it down into the component parts. So I hope you can see from the demo that we bring the shoulders forward as before with our manual and then we're putting our hips back and we're ending up in this position, slightly taller obviously. But the key is, as you're moving your hips and shoulders back, you need to be driving down on the front pedal so your preferred foot's going to be forward. And then you need to try and keep that rhythm going, create a good circle with your pedals, keep your body up tall, hips over the hub, over the back wheel, shoulders over your hips, arms nice and straight and keep looking forward. Better in the brakes as ever, as the front comes up, you might find it goes too high. And it's just being delicate with that brake, not on or off, but maintaining it so that you're using the brake and your pedaling rhythm to hold the wheel in the right height. So if you go back and check the manual video, you'll see the front wheel lift, which was having the pedals level, bringing the shoulders forward. At the point you're gonna choose, you're gonna drive the shoulders back and the hips back into that position. And as we were saying, with the wheelie, we're then going to be doing that, mo that movement and pushing down on that pedal at the same time. The difference between the manual and the wheelie is because we're pushing down on the pedal, the front can come up uh, quite quickly. So you don't want to overemphasize the movement backwards. It needs to be a nice, smooth, flowing movement. If we throw our weight back in one go and drive down on that pedal, we're very likely to loop out. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you front angle and then we'll show you the side angle again. Hopefully for the front angle, you're gonna see me compress my body down on the front, these elbows come up and out, chest is gonna come down, my head's still gonna be looking forward, my hips are still gonna be over the seat, fingers covering that brake, and as I come to the point I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna drive the pedal down, my hips and shoulders are gonna go up and back, and I'm gonna end up in this position and keep a nice smooth flow of pedaling. So hopefully from that you can see that it's a combination of moving the body weight back simultaneously driving down on that pedal and then just trying to be smooth with it. It's not a pull and then a pedal or a pedal then a lift. It's combining those two movements. So what we've done in the manual in the previous video and combining that with a nice smooth pedaling motion. What we want to try and do is stay in this position. Reason being, as BMX racers, what they're aiming at doing is being able to maybe add that extra pedaling in the middle of a jump. So for the national riders out there in the UK, think somewhere like maybe Cyclo Park's first jump. If you could get a pedal in there, you can really add a little bit more speed to your first straight. So what we're going to do now is really focus on that first movement, the shoulders forward and the body weight going back. Um, that's going to be your key thing to getting the front up and getting comfortable with the wheel up in the air. So hopefully from the video you can see that movement, see the way the body moves forward and back, trying to make it as smooth and efficient as possible. To challenge yourself a little bit more with the wheelie, you can work on maybe hovering the wheel only just above the ground, or indeed switching it around and having the front wheel up as tall as possible. 
I'll try and demonstrate both of those now. So hopefully you can see the differences there between the basic wheelie, the front wheel low wheelie and the front wheel high wheelie. It's all a case of where the body position is. With the regular wheelie, the one that we really need to use probably more on the BMX track, we're going to be in this position. With the low wheelie, your body weight's going to be much further back and much lower. Again, that could be simulating pedalling off the back of a jump, getting comfortable with the body position in that place and getting some pedals in. And then obviously the front wheel up real high is that body being up super tall. And again, with a really steep and deep double, you might even get comfortable being able to put a pedal in the middle of one of those. But more importantly, it's about getting out and playing with your bike and having fun, becoming at one with your machine and really enjoying the sunshine while we can and the space we have available. Hope the video has really helped. Hope you've been enjoying the series. Um, we'll be looking forward to knowing number six next week. Um, so get out, get out on your bike, get practicing, and uh, we'll do the same again next week. Have a good time. Take care yourselves.